and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Ender Compass in Minecraft 1.13. This is the first mod that has came out for Minecraft 1.13. It's because it doesn't use Forge. Forge isn't updated yet, but I wanted to do this mod just because if you want to install a mod, you can. It uses the uh, Rift mod loader here. So we're going to be using this, which is a very simple mod loader for Minecraft 1.13 to install Ender Compass, will allow the, which will allow you to find uh, strongholds easier and things like that. But first, be sure to check out game servers at the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash MC servers. Over at game servers, you're going to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. If you want to host mods on them, when 1.13 has actually server mods, right? Right now, there's no mods for servers. You can do that over on game servers. Again, the breakdown.xyz slash MC server, first link down below. So, how do you actually install this? Well, first off, we need to go to the second link down below, which takes us here, where we want to click over into files here. And then we want to click on this top download here. Click on download file. We want to keep the file. And then we want to come over here to Rift, right? This is the mod loader that is uh, going to be used for this. So if we click on files here, we can see right here is the top file. Click on the download file button. And then we want to keep this one as well. I promise it's safe. So now if we go ahead and minimize this. We have two mod loaders right here. Or not mod loaders. We have two mods here on our desktop. The mod loader with Rift and the mod itself with Ender Compass. So let's go ahead and install Rift. To do this, just right click on it. Open with the Java TM platform SE binary. If you don't have that option, click at the third link down below, and that's going to take you off to, or sorry, fourth link down below. The third link is Rift, but uh, click the fourth link down below. That's going to take you off to where you can install the Java SDK, which will need to do this. But after you do that, it'll just immediately come up after it's installed and that this is successfully installed. It's now available in the versions menu, which is pretty cool. Click OK there. Now you want to hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent AP. P D A T A percent percent at that a percent just like that and hit enter that will open up your roaming folder here where we then want to find dot minecraft right here and then you should have a mods folder but if you don't have one don't freak out right mods gone I don't have one anymore what do I do well again calm down just right click create a new folder title it mods M O D S all lowercase exactly like that open up your mods folder and then you want to find the ender compass mod here and just drag it into that mods folder. Now let's go ahead and launch up Minecraft 1.13 with the Rift version, right? So Minecraft all right here, opening up our Minecraft launcher. When you're in here, you want to come over here to launch options, and then you want to add new. I'm going to title this Rift Mod Loader, and then I'm going to click here under next to version, and then you should be able to find in here 1.13 Rift, right there it is, 1.13-Rift-1.0.1, awesome. Click that, click save, and then go back over here to news. And then when you're here, click the green arrow next to the play button. And then you should have that Rift mod loader. Right there it is. Click on that, click play, and it will now open up Minecraft 1.13 with Rift installed, and that's needed in order to play Ender Compass, which as far as I can tell, the first mod updated to Minecraft 1.13. So impressive on these guys to get a mod loader up this running this quickly and in addition to that actually producing a mod for it so great stuff there i wanted to showcase this i wanted to show this guys to you guys it's just going to help you find strongholds right that's all it's going to do but even still that's a little cool so if we go back over here while this is loading up all it's doing is just downloading some stuff i did want to show you you know on this mod page so this is the second link down below It'll take you to, to here, obviously. And this actually is some instructions about the mod. You know, points to a stronghold, right-click to, to create it. That shows you how to create it using the crafting menu there. So that's pretty cool stuff. But now Minecraft is open. It's very, very small. Let me make this bigger so you guys can see it here. And now, once we're in here, it should be pretty easy to see if uh, this is actually working. Just jump into single player. I'm going to open up my creative 1.13 single player world here. And uh, as we load in... We should be able to wait for it. All of the loading, joining world. We're almost there. There we go. Whoa, I'm up and I'm up and above here. So if we come down, I just want to uh, really quickly search for an Ender Compass, and there it is. And now we should be able to uh, right-click and point to a stronghold. 
So it seems like there's one over here. Now I'm not going to bore you going and actually going over here to this. But I don't think there's any denying that this is 100% working. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does help us out and it means a lot to me. Thank you very, very much for doing that in advance. The next time we are talking about mods for 1.13, we're most likely going to be talking about Forge mods and specifically Optifine as well. Optifine will most likely update before Forge and that'll be the next mod we cover. So be sure to like and subscribe for that. My name is Nick. This has been... A breakdown how-to video and I am out guys. Peace.